also a Sufi healer. Uh, most people know uh, Rumi's work. Rumi, any Rumi lovers? <laughs> um, so, uh, I have my latest book here that actually started kind of unraveling to me when I first started coming to um, this venue um, about two years ago. Um, my husband, who passed away, um, we had um, communication issues, y'all know about that? <laughs> things lost in translation, things, you know, and just anyways, we had a passionate, crazy, intense relationship. He was also my capoeira master, so add a little martial arts in there, it was like a kung fu movie. Right? <laughs> capoeira. And with like Brazil in the background, it was really crazy. But anyways. I started um, transcribing these poems to him because, you know, we were just missing each other and then unfortunately he passed away, but I completed this book and I'm about to make my trek back to Brazil for the first time since he passed away at the end of the month, so I kind of needed to come here and get some love and have y'all ship me back. Um, it's called Divan of the Infidel. Divan is a um, collection of poems, um, and an infidel is a non-believer, which could be any non-believer, um, and it also means infidelity. So, um, I'm going to begin with this one. Um, it's called Divan of the Infidel. Unable to communicate to you in the language of the beloved, I sing to you the divan of the infidel. A dialogue heart to heart even you will understand. Let this be a testimony to the love I have for you, for you will never fully comprehend the contents of my heart until you learn to speak the language of lovers. They're really short, but they're like really deep. It's you know, it's like it's like gourmet food. You gotta like eat it slow or like slow love making. You know, it's like hurts. It's like orgasmic. So can everybody like go there with me? <laughs> go there with me. Okay, we're gonna go there on this one. Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're all gonna take a big deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Ah. Uh, Already now. This one's called Haram. Um, in Arabic, Haram means um, something that's unlawful. Is it unlawful that I abandoned everything in my pursuit of you? A fiend for your love. Only God inspires such desire. Could it be everything he created contains his essence? Call me a heretic. I'm prepared to undergo the flame, for I discovered my beloved in the heart of an infidel. Right. One last one. And, and try to imagine Capoeira in the background of this. Everybody knows what Capoeira is yeah. after Brazilian martial arts? Yeah. Um, okay, so this one's called The Dance of the Infidels. On the dark side of the moon, he taught me the dance of the infidels. I learned the union of opposites, that even the purest light casts a shadow. On the dark side of the moon, he taught me the dance where hands are feet and feet are hands. He turned my world upside down, altered my perception, and showed me the world as it truly is. On the dark side of the moon, he taught me to embrace my shadow because no matter where I move, my shadow is dancing close behind. Mm.